Hello everyone. And welcome back to Mal Auto Cars channel. Today, we are going to find out whether the 2024 Volkswagen to vendor is better than its competitors. But before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's find out how the 2024 Volkswagen to vendor holds up against its competitors. The appearance of the Volkswagen to vendor has, of course, been revealed a long time ago but it still deserves attention. It looks attractive and even brutal. The body has received standard contours for its class. And the front bumper attracts several design solutions at once. The radiator grille and air intake are presented with the same filling, which creates a single hole. The rectangular headlights merge with the grille when turned off. But in the reverse position they look very attractive. Wheel rims are offered in three versions. 18, 20 and 21 inches. The back of the crossover is decorated in a sporty style. Where there is a large wing, an exhaust system with four nozzles and several nameplates. Inside the Volkswagen to vendor, modern performance formats can be traced. The two-tone finish looks very attractive. And the high-quality materials ensure comfort and convenience for all road users. By the way, the seats can be adjusted independently. The center console contains a dual touch screen for devices and multimedia. A climate system deflector and several control buttons. There are also buttons on the steering wheel. The new model will sit below the Talagon and VWFAW's lineup. Which currently is the largest vehicle Volkswagen produces. At 4.93 meters long and 2.01 meters wide. The Tavender is slightly shorter and a few millimeters wider than the Talagon and both SUVs share the same 2.98 meters wheelbase. Under the long hood sits a turbocharged 2.0 liter four-cylinder gas engine. Available in two power levels dash. 196 and 220 horsepower. It is mated as standard to a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox and an optional four-motion all-wheel drive system. Several different trim levels will be offered when the vehicle enters the Chinese market in the third quarter of this year with a base price of around 300,000 yuan or about $44,780 at current exchange rates. As you can see from this video, there is an R-Line model that looks sportier. Volkswagen has two more large SUVs sold in China marketed by the VW Sake joint venture. The Terramont sits between the Talagon and Tavender and there is also a coupe SUV version of this model. Called the Terramon Tex. In total, Volkswagen has nearly 10 SUVs currently available in China co-produced with its two local partners and marketed as competing models. Volkswagen has managed to make a better looking Atlas SUV. Only it's not for America. Instead, it's for China. Which absolutely eats up fresh. New SUVs at a rapid pace. VW calls this one the Tavender which is locally produced in China thanks to a joint venture with the Chinese First Automobile Works FAW. The Tavender measures 194.3 inches long, 79.3 inches wide, and 62 inches tall. It also has a wheelbase of 117.3 inches. That puts this Chinese SUV at about 2.3 inches longer than the Touareg. <laughs>